Welcome to Fitzy's Fabulous Scrapbooks. I'm Michelle Fitzgerald, aka Fitzy, and I'm an independent advisor for creative memory scrapbooking, and I'm here to help you make your scrapbooks fabulous. Today, we are going to talk about using up our scraps. How many of us have scraps and we don't know what to do with them? So hopefully this will give you one little idea anyway on something you can do with some of the scraps you have in your stash. So I am just going to spotlight my workspace over here and we'll get started. So my guess is, like me, you probably have pieces of paper that have, you know, some things punched out on it, but you're keeping it because there's still a good amount of paper here to be used. And you probably have a bunch of different strips of different sizes and different um, patterns and whatnot. And I mean, how many of us have something like this? We've cut out a shape, a circle, um, or you know, anything from the custom cutting system. And then we're left with this frame, kind of, right? So here's something that I created. Um, and I don't know if, I don't know, maybe created is too strong a word. I feel like it's just something I kind of put together to use up some of my old stuff. Now, this is some old paper. I don't even think we carry it anymore. And I don't typically show this, but I just had a few pieces left and I just wanted to use it up. And I came out with this kind of cool layout, don't you think? I mean, it works really well. Um, so, but look at the back. Does this look familiar? <laughs> I used it up. Instead of using a full piece of cardstock, I used up this extra circle frame that I was just keeping for, I don't know, a rainy day maybe? <laughs> Who knows? Why do we keep these things, right? So I'm going to show you um, what I have here. So let me put this to the side. And I've got a bunch of other little pieces here. Like, look it. <laughs> I've got this. Now, something that I do on a pretty regular basis is when I'm cutting out shapes from a piece of paper like this, I like to make sure I leave some space on the edge. So that way I can use this. This makes it a usable piece because I have the space on the edge to work with. So I'll show you what I mean in a few minutes, but I'm gonna put this to the side. And I might do two layouts actually, because I think I have some scraps here. I'm just, I just wanna use up my scraps, it's so sad. So look it, I've got this guy here. Um, and you know, I could take a punch and punch out a bunch of different things out of what's left here for sure. That's one option, but I also have like all these little bits and pieces. This is from Boho Escape. So I love Boho, it's one of my favorite things and I uh, one of my favorite collections. And I think that's probably why I have so many scraps left because I used a lot of it. But um, let me take out my trimmer and I've pulled out a few strips. So these are different size strips. And quite frankly, they're all 12 inches long. They're just different widths, okay? Um, and what I'm gonna do, so I think this would be a perfect middle spot. But if you noticed over here on this little page, I did let a little bit of the back color show to give it a little frame effect. Um, so what I think I'm gonna do for all of these pieces is maybe just cut off a quarter of an inch from um, one side lengthwise, all right? So I'm gonna put these papers together. I just have them stacked. And I'm just gonna make sure they're all together. Let me pull out my trimmer arm so everything is nice and stable and I'll get my tape runners out of the way. And 
I'm gonna put these, I'm gonna cut about a quarter of an inch off. I'm not gonna take too much more off, although this is a pretty thick one, so I could really do whatever I want. So you know what, maybe I'll give it a bigger border. Let's try a half inch and see how's, how that goes. So I'll take a half inch off. I just wanna make sure I have it lined up correctly and keeping them all stacked. And I think I just went a little over that half inch mark. So there we go. I think that's good. All right. So now these, if I don't use these strips on this layout, these are now scraps that I can throw away. <laughs> So I don't want you to hold on to any more scraps to use your scraps. So if you don't use these on this layout, throw them away if you're creating along with me. All right, so let's put this to the side and let's get out our deep runner. And this is just not only are we using stuff up, but now you're actually um, getting a pretty quick layout done here too. So. I know that the frame here is a 12 by 12 sheet. And now I just want to measure to see how wide this piece is. And this piece is just a little shy of eight inches wide. So I'm going to try to center it on this piece as best I can. And let's see, I think what I'm going to do is put some tape runner on the end of the sheet I want to attach on each end. All right. And I'm going to stand up so I can make sure I am as centered as possible. So let's see. I think that looks pretty good. And now I just want to move it down a little bit so we get that frame. All right, so there's one piece down. So now I have, um, I feel like this would look really pretty centered on that. So I think I'm going to tack that down. And this piece here is six and a quarter inches. So you know what? This is going to make a great um, mat if you want to put all six by uh, four photos on this sheet. So again, I just want to center this like so. That looks pretty good. Move it over just a tad. There. All right. So this page is coming along, isn't it? So now I have these two strips here. And let's see, the edge of this paper is almost exactly two inches. This one looks like it could even be. No, that's about right. So I think what I'm gonna do, let's see, let's cut. I'm gonna cut this at, I don't want it to be two inches. Well, let's try two inches first, and then I'll take a little off if needed. So, but this is a fun, easy way to use up scraps in a collection. And I'm gonna show you a couple of other little things here too. So what I can do, just overlap this just a little bit. 
So we keep that frame going. So that'll look like that. Let's see, is this wide enough or do I need to make different? That's just a little not wide enough. So let's just want to see. Yeah, that's a little under two inches. So we want to make this one a little more. Look how cool this page looks, yay! <laughs> so I'm just going to tack this down. And I think the easiest way to just put it on to the, um, the base and tack it down. Oops, I went a little too low there. I just want to make sure that the frame looks pretty even going all the way around. All right, so one is done. And now do the second one. So this is really, I don't know, I guess I would call this a base page, right? Quick and simple. You're using up your scraps so your paper isn't being wasted. I love that. And this is going to look different every time you do it because you don't know what the size of your um, strips are going to be or your scraps and what papers you're going to use. But look at how pretty that is. And I can put all my, um, I could put three horizontal photos here, or I could just simply turn it, okay? And then I could do three vertical photos, all four by six. Isn't that a great little layout? And you just saw me, how quick and easy was that? The hardest part was picking out my paper. <laughs> all right, so then I'm gonna show you another one that we can try. So just get creative with your scraps. Don't get too, you know, overly concerned. So I found all of these and these are pretty much all different sizes. And I really um, wanna use up as much of the scrap stuff as I can. And this is a piece of paper. I could cut another circle out and, um, you know, maybe I would, why not? because I'm sure I can use a circle at some point. Let's see, can I do a two? I wanna make sure I leave enough room on the edges. Eh, you know what, I'm gonna wait because I think I'm looking at the size of my scraps here. And I think I am gonna need that to hold on. So I'm gonna hold off on that. But this is going to work because I'm going to be able to use up some of these scraps. So the first thing I'm going to do is obviously I don't need this little row of stars here. My dog just barked to say hello. I hope you could hear her. <laughs> I was blocking off her path with some of my stuff on the floor here and she didn't like it. <laughs> She's going to her little hiding spot because I think she heard some fireworks going off. All right, now I'm just going to cut off that little strip of stars and this is scrap so I can just get rid of that. Now I have a clean piece of paper to use and I'm just going to kind of put all these pieces down and see what we have for sizes. All right, so this one is about two inches. 
and which is on the other side. So that's got the pink on the other side. This one is two and three quarter inches. And I absolutely, this is one of my favorite sheets. So I'm definitely gonna use that. And I knew that looking at it right away. And I love this pink too. Uh, and this one's about three and a quarter. And I think I like the navy here just for a little contrast. So let's see. This is just shy of three and a half inches. Okay. So let's kind of, oh, and what are these two? So that one's a half inch. And this looks to be about the same. Yep. So I got two half inch strips. So let's see. I'm not sure out of this one which way I want it to go. Let's try that for now because I kind of like that. All right. So we have these lined up like so, but there's a little bit of space here, but I think think this could work well. Maybe I would do one here. And then maybe one here. So this there. I think that can work. Let's see. I kind of like that better. It gives it a little more contrast. All right, so do I want some of the yellow to show? Let's see. I kind of like that. Maybe we'll just do a thin frame of the yellow. So I think for these strips, I'm going to stack them and I'll cut off that last one I did a half inch. I think with this one, this, I'm going to cut off a quarter inch. So I'm going to cut just a quarter inch off of the end after I have them all stacked. Just to get a thin border. And again, if you're not using these on the layout, get rid of them. <laughs> Isn't it funny how hard it is to let our little scraps go? <laughs> I think it's funny, like some people either get really attached to them or they don't. It's, it's like one way or the other. Um, I know a lot of people who get attached and can't throw scraps out. Certainly you can throw these out. <laughs> you are not gonna use these on anything, I don't believe anyway. All right, so I'm gonna get rid of those. And then let's see what we can come up with for this one. So, Ooh, I like that. Yeah. I think put one of these here. It's looking good. But this is a great way to use up whatever you have left. <laughs> So I'm going to have to cut a little bit off or maybe I'll make this a little bit more this just so it's up thin. Oh, this is looking good. I might just cover that like so. Oh, I like it. All right, so now I gotta tack it down. 
So let's start here. So again, on this first little strip, I'm just going to do the end. Let's get this tack down. I just want a little thin frame showing. I think I've got that. And now I'm going to do the same thing with this just on each end. And the reason I'm only doing the ends is because the middle of the paper that we're attaching it to is gone. So there's really nothing to attach it to. Great. So there we go. And now this one, we want it to cover a little bit of this one. So I'm going to do this one too at the same time. I think what I might do is just attach this one first. See how that works. It's pretty good. And now we'll come up here. Looking good. <laughs> All right. And I think I'm going to have to go on to that one a little bit too. That's okay. So let's go. I just want it to be a really thin border. Oh, no, I think that just works. Good, good, good. And now my last little piece. Let's see. All right, so there it is. We just made two little layouts. I'm not sure how long this video is just yet, but I'm sure I will find out in a few minutes when I go back to look. But look how quick and easy this was. And you can use them vertically or you can use them horizontally. It's all up to you and what your photos are like, right? Um, so keep that in mind. Uh, what I used here, this was all from Boho Escape. It's an older collection that's still available. Um, but I think you'll find that using up your scraps, this is an easy way to do it, right? I probably, um, will go back and create some mats for photos. Um, and just add a few embellishments and I'm good. There's my layout. <laughs> How easy is that? So go back and look at, doesn't that look funny? <laughs> I love that. But so not only are we not wasting paper, we're being resourceful and we're using up our stash. So that's a good thing. All right, so I hope you enjoyed these little ideas. Go through, and, and hopefully you're inspired to go through your scraps and use them up, right? Why are we holding on to them? They're taking up room and they're taking up time when we're looking for things, right? Because you have to rifle through all of it. So my goal is to inspire you to create, and I hope this has helped. <laughs> use up those scraps, everybody. You don't need them in your binders. You need to use them in your albums. All right. Um, this is Fitzy's Fabulous Scrapbooks. We're learning tips, techniques, tricks, hopefully getting inspiration. 
Um, if you have not already done so and you'd like to join our Facebook group, my uh, two of my teammates and I have our Facebook group. It is FRQ, Glitz Girls Scrapbooking Group. We are a free community of scrappers and we share, we learn, we get motivation and support. I will put that in the description for the video along with um, my email if you want to reach out to me at Bitsy's Fabulous Scrapbooks at gmail.com. And if you don't already have a fabulous advisor, I would love to be yours. And you can check out my website at www.creativememories.com forward slash user forward slash Michelle Fitzgerald. And I will also put that in the description of the video. And if you liked this video, I hope you will hit the like button. And if you're not already a subscriber, please don't forget to subscribe. I would love to have you be one of my subscribers. And stay tuned every week, this time, Sunday nights, 8 p.m. Eastern Daylight Savings Time. I put out a new video every week. All right. I just want to thank you all for watching. And I hope to have you all join me again next week. Bye for now.